Hello, everybody, and welcome to my Life Series Ideas. Sorry it's been a while, but as you can see here, I am here, and I have a Life Series skin on, and, well, yeah, we're just going to be looking at it, because I have a feeling the Life Series will be this Friday, so, yeah, hope this gets recorded and uploaded by the time this it comes out. So, yeah, let's just jump right into it. So, Controlled Life. Basically, this could be an April Fool's Day special, because, well, um... You know, this is uh, not very of a good idea. But as you can see here, green will control tangos, WASD, and uh, shift slash space key, and vice versa. Basically, this is just each person gets their own person. And yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory, I think, because, well... It's kind of dumb, but also it could be funny for April Fool's, like I said. Three lives like normal, though. And, yeah. Splitting slash growing life. So, essentially, this idea is everybody at the start has five lives, and everybody shares one health bar. But every single time there's a death, they split up. So, the twist will be they won't know who they're split up with. So, for example, now, for the second life, there are two groups of eight. Now, the one th problem is that uh, there will only be 16 members here. So, that is something. After a second death, though, the results could... They could look something like this. But, obviously, yeah, split up into four and four, and then an eight over there. But, yeah... But who knows what could happen when the first person is eliminated. So by the time our good friend Skiz here is eliminated, Pearl will be red, Impulse and B-Dubs will be on orange, which will be two lives in this, and these people will be on yellow, and these people will still be on four lives, even though, well, Jimmy will probably be out first. But the point is, is that it creates some interesting alliances, as you don't know who you're going to be teamed up with next, sharing a health bar. But by then, you're all alone. Yeah. So... Growing life will just be this in reverse, except uh, at the end, when one side dies, the other one uh, just breaks apart, I guess you can say. I don't like growing life, but I have it on the sign. So, yeah. Now, these could be two separate seasons, high slash low life, but it could be cool as one season because, basically, half the players start on a skyblock island and the other half start in the deep dark slash deep slate levels now there'll be wood down there and there'll be stone up there just to make it a bit easier but the only way to get from one side to the other is through the portals now there also will be a boogeyman and they do get four lives so yeah it could be fun though to see bases underground because i think people should be basing underground more and yeah obviously sky bases skynet but you know it's fine. Finally, we have Circle of Life, which was a Minecraft SMP that I will sh pull up the clip for now. Welcome to Circle of Life, a new series where I am joined by seven other content creators trying to be the last one standing. In this series, we are playing hardcore Minecraft, meaning if you die, you're gone forever. Additionally, we are playing with no regeneration, which means when you take damage, you lose those hearts forever. There is a twist to this, however, because whenever you take damage, a random person gains the health that you lost. This goes in a circle, meaning that every player has a healer and someone who they heal. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's get into Circle of Life. Thank you, Simon. And so basically, some changes I would make is with the three lives is that basically maybe you'll lose a heart every like 30 minutes to an hour, like permanently the whole server would. And also a boogeyman would uh, have to do five hearts of damage that will be permanently gone. Otherwise, they lose five hearts. Now... Something I'm thinking about afterwards is maybe instead of healing somebody, you actually, you can see their health. So, like, Lizzie sees Etho's health. So, if Etho takes a heart of damage, only Lizzie knows that. Etho has no idea how much damage it actually did. Seems confusing, but with three lives, this could be fun. Now, I don't know about this, but I think the circle concept works really well because, obviously, you have no idea. And plus, the alliance of this series could be very interesting. Like, if Scott can see Jimmy's health, like, that could be really interesting. Or if Scott heals Jimmy and Joel heals Scott, like, Scott might want to kill Joel more. But, yeah. This could be cool concepts. Obviously, they're probably not going to get used, but it's okay. As long as they have fun, which they will. I'll try and do recaps. It's going to be hard because of school, but you know what? We'll try. So, yeah. 
this is fun fun i'm really hoping for the high slash low concept to be used because obviously it could be cool to have a skyblock life series slash cave life series yeah